Okay, and welcome back. Uh, this is Joey Campbell, and we're playing the game Dread Out. And this is part two, and we're inside the school now. And we're following a, a protagonist, Linda, who is some schoolgirl who has some idiotic friends. And we follow them inside a school, and everyone's tripping absolute balls. So, yeah, that's about the gist of the game, basically. You take photos of things, and... You can sort of, uh, that's your weapon, but it's also your tool to see things in the dark. Now something's going on here because it's, it's lit up. So something, something's happening. It, right. Just letting you know that I've been tripping major balls on this game. Um, I actually don't get frightened that easily. But for some reason, some games are scarier than others, like... Whoa. You fucking what? Okay. Um, as I was saying, some games are like fucking well scarier than others. I just crap my pants at that little bust of the head. But yeah, um, some games are fucking really, really trippy. Some games aren't. Um, some of them that are sort of renowned for being scary ones are generally not that scary. Um, however, that is some kind of not the case. But my point is that some games that aren't supposed to be scary or maybe aren't renowned for being that scary are probably the scariest ones. Now this game... Oh, she's so fucking distorted. Shut up. 6666, great. Okay, so the devil has just rang Linda. So I'm gonna pop behind her. No, there's gonna be a ghost in front of her. Oh my goodness, fuck this. Right, that was a pig. Music is fucking trippy. I love that, even though she's not really moving her phone around, the light is going wherever I shine it. But yeah, there's a lot of games that I've been playing lately um, that are sort of like not as well known or not very scary supposedly, but they're fucking trippy, man. Some of the games that are supposed to be scary just haven't really, you know, just done it for me. Fuck off. What are you doing, you stupid bint? Right. Okay, now something is happening because the screen is going to be... Oh, my. Hello? That is a fucking pig with a human head. Right. Now it's wandered away. Great. No. Great. So no one's having a number two. Great. I feel like De Derek Akura. Something's coming towards me. It's that fucking man pig. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, 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 I don't like it. Alright. Get an authentic jenglot. Do you want to be rich? Do you crave success? Do you long for the love of your life? An authentic jenglot has growing hairs and nails. That's fucking really weird. So I'm guessing I need to get a jenglot. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Off. I, do, I don't like it. No, I don't. Fuck off. Nice, he goes back into his little hole. Malam Satu Sudo Music Festival. Great. So I've noticed some jarring and glitching. Oh my goodness, there. But see exactly what I was talking about. Um. I'm sure I just saw something. 
Today I got caught up in work and almost missed curfew. It seems pretty ridiculous, but this town has a strict rule about being outside on Thursday nights. Afterwards, my neighbour bombarded me with all sorts of superstitious nonsense. As a foreigner, I guess I'll just have to accept this as a local tradition. They seem to have a lot of them. Okay. What was that? I just saw something move. Am I just fucking tripping out? I do not like the sound of this. What, what is going on with the controls? See what I mean by the jarring? It's quite juttery. Um, I don't really know what's causing that, but... Someone's breathing heavily. Someone has asthma, so we we'll have to go and see what this is. Oh, oops! Um. I can hear the breathing from over there, so I'm gonna just avoid that as for as long as possible. And I'll go in here. What the fuck was that? Doesn't really seem to be anything wrong with this room. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with the clipping? It's trippy as hell. Maybe they left it in because it was scary as fuck. No, I do not want to go back in here. Thank you very much. There we are. So I'm gonna leave all the doors open. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Something's going on over here. I'm going to leave all the doors open that I've been in. Oh, you fucker. Right. This object is flung with Mr. Galandry. Great, I've got a jangle lot. I don't even know what the fuck a jangle lot is, but I've got one, so it's great. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that? Maybe someone who didn't get a lunch money back or something, maybe someone got bullied. I don't know. Fuck all in here. Okay. You fucker. Whoa, what? Oh my goodness. Whew. Crap me kegs. So now, I'm one for saying, oh, what are you doing, you wimp, when you're playing a game and people get scared by them. But when you're actually playing the game in an isolated environment with nothing, fake not, no one around you, and in the dark with headphones on, it gets really fucking trippy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my goodness. What the fuck is that? Fuck off. Oh my goodness, what the fucking keck kegs was that? Oh my goodness. Fuck me. It doesn't even to, like, oh, what? It doesn't help that I hear tapping on my windows and everything. When I'm filming this, great. Nothing in there yet. I'm gonna. I don't know what's in here. Anything? There's trippy fucking textures. This is a really weird school. Whoa. Crazy pop it in. Not really anything I can use in the, any of these buildings, is there? Did you hear that? Oh my goodness, it's a ball. But there's no one around to play with it. That's just fucking trippy, man. Physics? Yep, I do say they are physics. Well, limited. Ah, uh, fuck off, ball. Dandy ball ball. Dandy no ball. Oh, is that fucking cute cat again? I'm quite scared to see the cat though because I am scared of game cats. I have a cat myself and it trips the fuck out sometimes which scares me. I mean, 
Oh, what? What's that sound? Me and my girlfriend were in the house um, and I was left alone in the kitchen. Oh, what? Oh, what? And I was just looking out the, the kitchen door, which leads into the whew, into the living room. And the cat was just sort of chilling, and he ran into the kitchen next to me, and then just got no fright. What's like got a fright? Sorry, and ran straight out. No, oh, you stupid fucking bitch! Right, um, and the cat just ran next to me, looked around, not at me of course, and then just got scared by nothing, ran out, and then ran into the hallway, into the kitchen, uh, the living room, and. Oh, what? What the fuck was that? Skeletons. Are they mannequins or something? I don't know. But, um. Yeah, the cat ran into the living room and then just stared at me. And then, for no reason whatsoever, it just ran out as if it was scared of something. And I just fucking tripped out because I was like, what? What is my cat doing? And I know cats do that all the time, and they just sort of... I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. They might just be having a fit or something, doing something really weird. Uh, anyway, we'll read this, and I'll get back on that story. Last night, 12 houses located at the Titra... or Turta Biru residential estate were turned to ashes. Four other houses were also heavily damaged by the blazing fire. A large crowd of people watched helplessly as the fire consumed everything in its path. It all happened so fast. Said no. Said one homeowner, Herman, what a legend, who had to leap out of a two-story window from his study room. We were lucky no one died. Fucking hell. A local night watchman, Buddy, or Buddy, insisted that he noted two suspicious individuals near the site of the incident. However, Handoko, the town's fire department chief, I almost said chef, chief, is certain that what occurred was purely accidental. Due to the source of the fire, a stove belonging to one of the infant uninsured homeowners. Okay. Crap. What the fuck is that? What was that? Something came in here. That is really disturbing. Looks like it's got AIDS or something. Alright. You'll never take my baby, never. Oh, I fucking hate when the music changes. Ooh. Why are all these open? And no one's going for a crap. There's no doors. What kind of school is this? It looks like someone like white standing behind that door. I fucking hope there isn't though. Let me guess, they're the developers? Trapped in this game forever? That would be a fucking miserable existence, wouldn't it? No, no. Well, he's trippy, isn't he? <laughs> Great. Um... Cool. I'm assuming that is a good thing. I do not like the sound of this. Whoa, what? The fuck's... What? the three of those things. Yeah, there's three. I don't like I don't like the look of this. What is going on? Well what? Oh my goodness. That is fucking dinging. Oh no. I have a feeling something. I am going to run away. 
very fast and very far. I said very fast. Hello, cat. Hello. You cat. Okay. I'm going to run very fast and very far away from there. Forever. There's a fucking crazy head again. Is he going to come this way? Is he going to go? Oh my goodness. Why, why would you just look at me like that? Fucking freak. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> the incarnate. Oh my goodness, what? Yeah, let's have a look at these ghost pedias and what the fuck was that? Whew. So belong oh that's fucking weird. So they're called Pokongs. Ah, oh, get info on this bitch. A prostitute in life, she was murdered by a jealous patron. As a supernatural being, she appears as a woman in white with a hole. On her backside. Okay. She focuses on terrorizing men, but women are equal vulnerable to her wrath. That doesn't make any sense. How can she focus on men, but then... That doesn't make any sense. A dark being who roams the world, bearing the promise of immortality. He manifests with the faces of those who were willing to sacrifice themselves. It's fucking horrid. Pukong. It's that when a person is left tied up in their burial shroud in death they will be doomed to roam the earth. Fucking hell. They desperately plead for their bindings to be removed so they can continue their journey unhindered. Since their feet are tied together, typically they can only get around by hopping. That's, that's awful. Why has he got two legs though? Someone who gained wealth through the practice of black magic. Wow. In their wild hog form, they are able to drain money from surrounding houses, which amasses near their current location. That's just fucking trippy and weird. Okay, should we have a look at what we got to do? I want to look at the. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I've got to get the keys because the pig thing has them supposedly. I can I can hear the pig again, so that's good or bad, I guess. I don't know. Oh my goodness! Fuck off! Okay. Now those this town isn't as monotonous as it appeared to be. Apparently, they've got their own designated holiday. There was a lavish festival with vibrant music, dancing, and plenty of food to go around. Everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. It was pretty incredible. However, one thing did puzzle me. During the ritual with animal sacrifice, I could have sworn that I heard screaming, though I can't really be sure. With what, what with all the loud trumpets and drums, I probably just imagined it. No one else seemed to notice anyway. <sighs> okay. So we're going to have a look around and see if we can find everything in this part. Um, if I miss anything out, guys, let me know. Um, and if there's anything you want me to do, just comment. And just tell me if there's anything you need me to do or want me to do. And I'll be sure to read it and do it if I like it. Oh, this looks weird. Can you dem keys? Oh, no. I don't want to go in there because that looks tricky as out. Oh, cool. Where does this lead to? Ooh. Okay, which one do I go through? Should we go through here? Yeah, we'll go through here. I don't really like the look of this. You found ring. <sighs> okay, I found ring, guys, supposedly. Okay. Doors 
locked. Great. Well, what did you see that? Oh, fuck me, I thought someone hanging. Oh, fuck me. Get attacked by a fucking ball. Oh, come on, give me a chance to get up, you fucking prick. Pig prick. I am, am I dead? Uh. No, no, stupid controls. That's fucking trippy, that man. My health going up? Yes, I got naturally regenerating health. Which is always a good thing. Or bad thing. Where the fuck did that pig go? I've got to go and fucking find this bastard now. <sighs> Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. No, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna go and catch him before he gets into his little hole. Although knowing this game's mechanics, I will probably be slower than a pig. I can't get to the place where he is because game logic. Great. Fuck's sake, man. Something's going on over here. So he's asleep, but he's still moving. I don't like that. It's unnerving. Makes me feel really uneasy. Like what? gonna stop glitching out around here there's like certain points around this level which just don't make any sense F oh my goodness it's like Resident Evil all over again what do people think of the new remake on the PS4 I mean the one that was already done on top of the already existing GameCube one which is brilliant by the way is there anything up these stairs have I been up here yet He's awoken now. And my battery went up. Yeah, it has. Okay, in the last video, my battery actually went down a bar. Now, for some reason, it's been charged again. Probably the pig. He works at EE or something. I don't know. Alright. Where the fuck did pig at? I kind of how the fuck am I supposed to get the key? No, oh for fuck's sake, don't die, you stupid bitch. Oh man, I need to get the fucking key! Come on, you prick! <sighs> Wait a minute. What? Did I... I just picked up some keys. Let's go to my inventory. Okay, I just got the key somehow. Great. Well, okay, that's. I think if you want to do this game yourself guys and uh, you want the key I guess just do whatever the fuck I just did 
I have a feeling that maybe the keys are around its neck and when you take a picture of it like that you scare it and you can make it drop its keys basically because um, when it goes back to its hiding spot that's where its keys get dropped so let's just go with that okay okay guys cool I can't remember where that room was. Okay, no, I can remember where it was. It was through here. Please don't come around here again. I am fucking kicking my kegs. Anyway, was there something through those? Oh, no, it was just down there. Maybe it's the front door triggering that. Oh, there's a fucking ball again. Something's not right here. Something's amiss. Fuck off, B-ball. The story of Dandy Noball. As my battery went down. Oh, it went down quite a bit. I don't... I don't actually know if it has any significance to how many photos you take or how much you use the light on the phone. It should, that would be really interesting. But Okay, let's go through here, because I assume this is what was locked in the first place. And yes it was! But what the fuck's this? Oh my goodness, no, no! Do I really... Look, she looks fucking terrified! Oh my... Oh my goodness. Some fucking spooky heads, man. Fuck off. Oh, oh no, it's a crib. Is that door just shut? Oh my goodness. Oh fucking hell, man. What is that? Okay, guys. Alright, we're gonna have a look inside a fucking crib in a school. This doesn't really make any sense. Oh my goodness, it looks like a blunt. Big spliff baby. Eh. Someone, a demon barber? Looks like G-Man from Gary's Mod. Is that a woman? It's got an earring. Eh. Fuck you, you creepy fuck. Fuck off. Uh, fuck me, man. Fuck off. Oh my goodness, you're so fucking creepy. Uh. So yeah guys, you gotta shoot things to get rid of them, that's your weapon. But the trouble is this, this fucking boss, I have no idea where the fuck it's gonna come from. It's pretty dangerous though to have some scissors like that. Parents never say don't run with the scissors. You idiot. What is wrong with the feet? Ugh. Fuck me man. Well, watch out. Don't stand next to it. This woman is way too calm for what is going on around her. Is she not mega fucking tripped out? Oh, fuck off, baby blunt. Spliff baby, which is obviously a weird robot with dial-up in it. Ugh. Yep, some skizzers on the floor. And spliff baby! Fuck you. A pair of scissors found in the nursery. I actually have no idea what we're gonna have to do with the scissors. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Okay. I have no idea what we're going to have to do with these skizzes, so... Let's just go on a little walk around and see what we can do. See what we have to work with. Something's... Something's coming. I don't like the sound of it. Something on the corner? Nope. Okay then. Is door open? Did I say, is this door open? Oh, that's the correct one. I thought, oh no, both of them. It does and is. It's right. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh my goodness, right. A local high school was taken by surprise yesterday as a whole classroom of students suddenly entered a state of trance. At 10 a.m., as Miss Astrid was teaching geography to her class, a few students screamed and kicked their desks. A minute later, every student in class was screaming and acting erratically. She called for help immediately after they began speaking in tongues. The school headmaster have announced... What should that be? Hasn't announced. Okay. Has announced that the incident was in fact a mass possession of the students by supernatural beings. The whole class of 2A was hurried, taken, hur sorry, hurriedly taken to the nearest public infirmary for treatment. A local medical team treated the students while a professional witch doctor performed an exorcism. Eyewitnesses said that all the students regained consciousness simultaneously at 3pm or simultaneously, whatever you want to say. Fucking hell, man. School is uh, tragic, isn't it? Came from that end, didn't we? Okay, we're going to go down here now. A further look in. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? I think we've been in here before, haven't we? We have not been in here yet. Hmm. No, no! Oh my. Oh, that's fucking asthma, bitch. What is she doing? What is she drinking? That is absolutely minging. Why can we see that? Fuck me, man. <laughs> okay. I didn't like that we could see that through the camera and not through the camera as well. That was definitely not nice. Of course it is. Let me go through here. Nope, that's it. Right, well, we've just seen a fucking weird bint eat porridge through our arse. Or well, at least it came out of the back of her. I don't even understand. I don't get it. Um, Yeah, this game is trippy as fuck, man. So we're going to do... I don't know how long's left, but I'm assuming not long. Um... I don't know what I've got to do with the scissors, but let's figure it out. Um, we'll call it in part at the next bit. Bit is that me panting desperately for fucking sex or something? I don't know. Or is she just tired? I think she's tired. Something's gonna happen in here, isn't it? I can hear something. I don't like it. Yeah, that door doesn't work. School is still locked. What's up here? Nothing. Okay, I'm fucking really tripping out here. Where are we gonna go? See, I, I could just follow the rules and then just see what I do, but there's no fun in that. So I'm just going to try and do an intuition, see what I can do. And obviously if we get mega stuff, we can just consult the, uh, the what to do this because nobody likes wasting time. I have no idea what I was just talking about, by the way, so you can take what you want from that conversation. So what is through here? No, I'm not going through there again. Is this really it? I have no idea what to do. I will try downstairs once, and if 
if we can't do anything there, then we will consult the diary. Oh, this bitch really needs to go to the gym. Saying that, I'm the one sitting here playing a video game, not going to the gym, so I should probably go to the gym. What do you guys think of this game, by the way? Uh, put in the comments and tell me if you like it. Tell me if there should be a sequel. I actually don't know if there is already one, but do you think they should make one? It's quite a good game. Fucking hell, Oh, I actually didn't. No, no. What the fuck happened there, man? All right, pig fuck has awoken. No, sorry, it hasn't. But some weird thing happened over there. Is this door open now? It wasn't door here to begin with. I can't go down there for some reason. And I'm running out of battery fast. Okay, great. So where the fuck do we need to go? I guess we need to find a door that is locked. Oh my goodness. F oh no, something's going to be around here, isn't it? What? No. Oh my goodness. That bitch, Ira, whatever she's called. Uh... Right, question. When you see a bunch of angry locusts like this, do you A, enter, or do you B, run the fuck the other way? Uh, what? What? What is going on? Wait a minute, that door isn't there, am I? Oh my goodness, there's something running towards me. Uh. That is fucking hideous. Sorry, I really wanted to get the Ghostpedia for that. I want to find out what the fuck that is. Am I dead? Yeah, I think this is Assassin's Creed type thing. Winners don't do drugs. <laughs> so not only is it a scary independent game, it's also a uh, inspirational game. Like at the end of like Cool Runnings or something, or one of those films, Bradley became on to be some superstar and had sex with Pamela Anderson, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I need to find the door again. That does not exist. Okay, there's one there. <laughs> that was trippy. Whoa, whoa, what? Um, okay. I guess, I guess it makes sense. Right. Did not make any sense. I am fucking tripping out right now, though. Okay, let's quickly check that Ghostpedia. Damn it, the wrong. Oh, damn it, the wrong, okay. A hideous creature that was tasked to guard a hidden passageway ever since it was summoned. For years, it has been living its life in solitude, guarding its own secrets. That's fucking hideous, that, man. Tripped major balls when I saw that. Oh my goodness. Fuck me. That's what I saw before. This red bitch. Is she, is she a snake snubber? Summoner? What are you doing? What is going on? Why is she a snake summoner? What the fuck is going on here? She called me Leela. My name's Linda, you stupid bitch. 
Fuck off. Oh man, why am I back here? I got fucking locusts following me. Fuck off. No, no, fuck off. Fuck off. Stupid bitch. Whoa, what? What's happening? Why have I got fucking bees and locusts following me? What have I done wrong? Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Why are you giving me rats, you stupid absolute bitch? Okay, now the controls are reversed, guys. I am now pressing... Yeah, forgive me for the controls, but it's all tripping out. So now I have to press backwards to go forwards and vice versa. Yeah. I, I am going to be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. What is that? Maybe I shouldn't have walked into that. Directly into that, at least. No, no! You stupid bitch! Right. That music is fucking mad. Egyptian jazz. Oh my goodness, stop doing that. Please. So what is that? Let's check the ghostpedia. Fucking hell, man. Mysterious lady in red. Okay, full stops. Eclipse, that's what she is. What's going on? Whew! Curly! Nope. That wasn't nice. I can hear snoring. Go through the door, you stupid bitch. Is that the end? This is like some weird horror film. From the oh my goodness, that was awful. Oh. That's fucking hideous. This is the type of music you hear at the end of a film, and that this one actress at the end has survived. We're clearing everything. Oh, fuck me, man. Uh, okay. Um. Uh. You can save images in the gallery. I did not know you could do that. That's pretty awesome. Oh. Oh, so it is the end of the game. Okay, guys. Um, cool. Right, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave it there for now, um, and this is the end of part two. Join me in part three to find out where the fuck we are and see what we can do with the rest of this game. It's pretty awesome, actually, I've got to admit. Um, that school was terrifying as fuck, so we're going to do the next level. Thanks. Um, I'm going to hurry up before I get attacked by whatever the fuck that was. I do not like the sound of it. So um, you can find out what that is in the next episode. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, as always, just um, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.